Let's take a look at a few examples of problems with area and volume. So this is Chris's back garden. He only wants to turf the green bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the area of the full garden and then I'm going to subtract the area of the patio and the area of the ponds. Now the area of the garden is a compound shape. So I'm going to divide it into two rectangles. So this rectangle here is going to be have an area of 2.3 multiplied by 5.4, which is 12.42 square meters. This rectangular bit of the garden is 2.9 multiplied by this distance here, which we don't know, but we know it's 8.3 across the bottom and 2.3 for the patio. So this length here is 8.3 minus 2.3, which is six meters. So the area of this part of the garden is six times 2.9 which is 17.4 square meters so the whole of the garden is going to be 17.4 plus the 12.42 which comes to 29.82 square meters now i'm going to subtract the area of the patio and the area of the ponds now we've been told that the patio is a square so it's going to be 2.3 times 2.3 so the area of the patio is 5.29 square meters. Now the area of the pond, the pond is circular, the area of a circle is pi r squared. So 3.14, we've been told that's what we need to be using for pi. It's got a diameter of 1.1. So if 1.1 is the diameter, we need to half it for the radius. So the radius is 0 0.55 and it's the radius squared. So we need to multiply pi by 0 0.55 twice. 3.14 times 0 0.55 times 0 0.55 is 0 0.94985. So the area of the turfed part of the garden is going to be the 29.82 minus the patio, because that's not being turfed, minus the pond, because that's definitely not being turfed, minus 0 0.94985. So the, the turfed area is going to be 23.58015 square meters, but turf can only be bought per square meter. So we're going to have to round that up to 24, 23 square meters won't be enough. So we want 24 square meters and it's two pounds 75 per square meter. So our final calculation is 275 multiplied by 24 which comes to a total of 66 pounds. Let's take a look at another example. So this one is about volume uh, because we've been told that every fish needs 1.3 cubic meters. So to work out the volume of water in the pond, it's gonna be the area of this circle multiplied by the depth of 1.2. The area of a circle is pi r squared, pi is 3.14, now, if the diameter is 6.1, then the radius is going to be half that. So the radius is going to be 3.05. So our calculation is 3.15 times 3, sorry, 3.14 times 3.05 times 3.05. The area of this circle is now going to be 29.20985 meters squared. And for the volume, we just need to multiply that by 1.2. So we don't need to worry about rounding it. We didn't even need to write it down really. Sim simply hit on your calculator, provided that this is still on your calculator display, times 1.2, and we get a volume of 35.05182. Now each fish needs 1.3 meters squared. So how many 1.3 cubic meters are there, sorry, cubic meters, shouldn't have said meters squared. Uh, how many cubic meters are there in this number of cubic meters? It's just this amount here, which is still on my calculator, divided by 1.3. So 35.05182, which is still on my calculator, divided by 1.3 is 26.96. So we can get 26.96 fish in that pond, but obviously we can't have 0.96 of a fish this number is closer to 27, but 27 would mean that there's too many fish. 26.96 is the exact number of fish. So we're gonna to have to round it down. Well, we're not rounding it down. We just need to 
uh, move this down to 26 fish as the maximum number of, fit of koi fish that Lauren can put in her pond. Hopefully you can appreciate why we're going to 26, not 27 here, even though 26.96 is so much closer to 27 than 26, but 27 fish would exceed the 1.3 cubic meters per fish.